guys and welcome back to my channel how are you all i'm doing fabulous and great in my new wig yes the hair has changed again i do love changing my hair to be honest with you i don't know i feel like a chameleon you know every minute i'm just changing changing it about one minute short one minute braids one minute a wig one minute a mess <laughs> you know um, i just i don't know i just hate have sticking to the same look i do like to kind of experiment now and again i will most definitely be doing like a review video um you know talking about my experience at um you know the beauty salon i've done this and also just just talking about you know how i felt about getting a wig because it can be a bit scary to be honest because you don't know if it's going to look nice on you you don't know if it's going to look too wiggy but that is for another video um before i get into this video guys make sure you subscribe to my channel names are above and make sure <laughs> make sure you subscribe to my channel which is below <laughs> and make sure you follow me on instagram and snapchat which will be above um sorry if there is you know a bit of banging and you know a bit of noise in the background because i'm having some work done in my house and i, I kind of didn't want it to stop me from doing the filming i've been waiting for like probably three hours to start filming today and it doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon so the show's got to go on and i've got to film <laughs> but today's video is gonna be a review slash unboxing I did say I was gonna do a bit more of those you know kind of show a bit more of the products I've been purchasing and kind of just give you guys you know my opinions and my views on them just in case you're looking to purchase these things also so let's get into it all right so I actually bought a pair of the Alaya I hope I'm pronouncing this properly because I've been pronouncing this absolutely terrible but I purchased a pair of the Alaya um, shoes recently in Selfridges. Um, I've wanted them for quite a while, um, but I don't know. I don't know what actually was stopping me from purchasing them. I, don't, I really don't know. But when I saw this color, I was like, OMG, I've got to get them. They are absolutely fabulous. They're absolutely amazing. I remember when I first saw them, I actually saw them on Kim Kardashian. I was like, oh, what shoes are this? What brand is this? These shoes are absolutely popping. I want them in my life. So it comes in. Oops, I know the lighting's gonna mess up. It comes in a Selfridges bag like this. You know when you go to Selfridges, unless you're actually buying from the concessions, um, they tend to put most of you know designer goods just in a Selfridges bag, which is which is fine. So it comes in a Selfridges bag just like this. And the actual packaging of the shoe, I love the box. I think the box is so funky, so unique. It's kind of like it's like you know like a, a secret you know secret chest or you know chest of treasures or something like that if you know what i mean guys so it has um like a buckle that kind of holds it down it's leather it's a leather box and um i really did like this aspect of it i wasn't expecting you know a box like this i thought it was going to be you know quite traditional but um no it's really really nice um i guess you can see that they spent a lot of money or invested quite a bit in in box in boxing this because um usually you just get you know the normal hardback boxes with the brand's um logo on it but this is really really nice so you literally just unbuckle here Flip that back, like that, and yeah, a liar. I think I've got that right. <laughs> and yeah, just like basically normal packaging inside. Um, I guess nothing, you know, special. I guess just the paper wrapped around it. Then, yep, you have the shoes there, guys, which I'll be taking out of the plastic. But oh, when I saw them, I was like, ah, I'm in love. They are. Oh, to die for. So, they come in plastic like this. I guess to keep them protected because they are um, velvet shoes. So, you have to really, really take care of them. Um, I got them in a half size up. That's because my feet are really, really strange. I don't know why when I wear kind of like sandalette heels like this. Um, I can't wear a size 4. I've always got to go up because my back foot, I think, is a bit chunky. But anyways, um, these are them, guys. Oh, come on. Are they not beautiful? They are absolutely um, fabulous. So um, when I first tried them on in Selfridges, I did try on a 4. And I, was, and I, had, I actually had tights on. And I don't know, I just didn't like the way they were fitting on my feet. So I decided to ask the young lady to get me a half size up. And the half size fit perfect, perfectly. Seriously, guys, it fits so well. I'm not going to lie, I do find the zip at the back a bit of a struggle um, to do up once my foot is in the shoe. Um, once it's up, it's fine, to be honest with you. But 
they are a bit of a struggle. Um, initially, I was going to buy them off net porter but net porter done the shorter version, and I, I don't particularly like heels that are too short, if you know what I mean. I think the only heels I don't mind being in that kittenlet style are the Dior ones. Um, but apart from that, anything else, I do like them to be about, you know, five inches, you know, because I just think it looks a bit more sexy, a bit more, you know, a bit more fabulous, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the things I would say about the, the shoe I'm not too keen on is that when I'm putting them on I do feel like I potentially might be I might break this because it is a bit of a tug and it has nothing to do with it not being my size they're most definitely my size I just feel like the heel is a bit is the, the zipper is a bit stiff because um if you can see guys it hold on if I do this down you know you have to get your foot in that way whereas it would have been better maybe if you could unclip this then you know put your foot in then kind of clip it back so that aspect of the shoe um I'm not too keen on I do love again you know the detail here with the bubbles and you know the the spikes then of course the detail here they're absolutely oh so soft so so soft guys but you have to be extremely careful because they're velvet you have to be really really careful where you wear them to because you really don't want them to especially because they cost quite a bit of money if you know what I mean you don't want them to damage and get any water damage as well so um, I would definitely suggest being quite wary where you wear them to, just making sure you don't get no, you know, I definitely wouldn't wear them to a club or anything like that. I definitely feel like it's an occasion shoe if you have a wedding or you have an event or something like that because um, the thought of damaging them will just, oh, oh honestly, it would, seriously, my heart would drop. Um, they retail at about £800 in Selfridges, but that's the thing about the pricing, it's quite weird because in Selfridges they're £800, but on Netta Porter they were a tiny bit, um, they were a tiny bit cheaper. I know the, the shorter ones are not even dramatically che much cheaper than these. I think it's like a difference of um, like £40 or £20 or something like that. Um, so I would definitely suggest if you can walk in them, um, get these. They're not that difficult to walk in either. They're quite, quite, actually quite easy to walk in to be fair because the heel is not that high. I do consider them to be quite comfortable. Your toes don't pinch around here because usually with um, um, like kind of sandalette shoes, um, center the heels even your toes can be quite uncomfortable in this area here but it doesn't pinch at all this is very very comfortable it doesn't pinch around there either and they're just really nice and easy to walk in a, a great occasion shoe I definitely must say guys um, I definitely consider them to be one of the, one of my best heels that I've got to date they're just super duper super duper fabulous um, I don't know I, I, I definitely would say Think about it before you do buy them. Just be sure. Try them on a few times and just make sure you are sure that you want them because the price isn't that cheap. They are £800, if you know what I mean. So um, I just feel like before you purchase them, just make sure that you know it is something that you're going to use, something that you are going to get a good wear out of because you know you don't want to be spending that much money on a pair of shoes and not you know, really you know make the most of them. I've been wanting these for a long, long time, like definitely over a year, but I just wasn't keen on the colours that were out at the moment like the nude was nice but I was like I'm not really gonna spend £800 on a pair of nude heels you know what I mean when I can just get a pair of Christian Louboutins for half the price I didn't feel like you know that was wise at the time but obviously when this colour was released I was like this is quite unique um I love the I love the material on them they're not you know just leather so I was like yes okay this is definitely going to be you know worth the money. I actually ordered mine from the Manchester branch in Selfridges because Selfridges in Oxford Circus they only had a display pair and I'm just I know I'm being a bit particular but I feel like if I'm spending that much money on a pair of shoes I want a brand new pair I don't want the pair that everyone's been trying on <laughs> if you know what I mean I'd rather you know wait a little bit longer and get you know a, pair, a fresh pair from um from Manchester so they are available in Selfridges on the supporter you can actually get them in Harrods um, it's an amazing designer, I must say. It, trust me, an amazing, amazing designer. And it's a great shoe for occasions. Like, you can't go wrong if you need a really nice pair of classy, stand-out-ish, still stand-out-ish pair of heels, then I definitely would suggest um, buying a pair of Alaya shoes because they are fabulous and you feel fabulous when you wear them as well. You don't feel like you're going to drop on your face. You know, like with lube sometimes, you just feel like it's so uncomfortable. You can't walk in there properly. I really don't feel like with these shoes, you, you don't you don't get that vibe because the heel is not too thin. It's a definitely a good size heel. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's just it's just right. If you know what I mean, it's just, just right. Um, 
this area here is comfortable also. So yeah guys, I'm gonna try them on and let you see. Yeah, that's it really guys. I don't really have you know anything really negative to say about the shoes apart from the back. I do find the back a bit awkward to you know to get your foot into the heel initially, but apart from that, once they're in, I think it's great. The height is absolutely fabulous. I think if you are gonna buy them, I definitely would suggest going for the higher version. I don't know, I feel like the the, sh the kitten one, I don't know. I I, I don't know, I, it just doesn't do the shoe justice to me. Um, be obviously really careful where you wear them, try not to get liquid or anything, you know, on them because it's going to damage the shoe and you just don't want to be spending an arm and a leg to um, try and, you know, fix them because you've already spent an arm and leg to purchase them. But yeah, that's it really. I think they are great purchase. I definitely feel like, you know, um, every girl should, you know, try and definitely have, you know, uh, one of these in their collection if they can. You know, there's nothing wrong with treating yourself to a little cheeky, nice, cheeky little nice luxury treat now and again. But it doesn't have to be a luxury treat. It could be whatever makes you happy. You know what I mean? But there really is nothing wrong with treating yourself now and again. But these shoes were definitely a treat for me. And I'm going to make sure I calm down on the number of treats I get myself. <laughs> but um, I really, I really did want them for a long time, guys. So that's why I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and purchase them. They are absolutely awesome. Fabulous, 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 and more fabulous. But yeah, guys, that is it for this review and unboxing. Please comment, please comment, and you know, let me know um, if you are thinking about purchasing these shoes. Um, just you know, put a comment down there below if you feel like the information I've given you in this in this um, video isn't um, sufficient. Then you know, feel free to ask me any more questions. Um, you know, just so you're sure before you actually go ahead and buy them because they are a little bit pricey. So remember to follow me on Instagram. Remember to follow me on Snapchat. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And yeah. <laughs> Until next time, bye.